Welcome back to Living Local. Boosting your home's curb appeal doesn't need to be expensive, whether you're getting your home ready to sell or just simply refreshing your porch for the season. Well, small projects can make a big difference. Joining us in the studio today with some affordable ideas is Realtor Bicky Blackard in this segment sponsored by Mel Foster Co. Becky, thanks so much for taking the time to come in and talk to us today. Thank you for having me. So how can we create curb appeal that is simple but yet affordable? Um, definitely a lot of simple tips. Just simply focus on that pathway up to your front door um, and, and what all is seen as they're walking up. So focus on the front porch, focus on the front sidewalk, and really what you're seeing to make that welcoming entrance. Okay, what about, you know, holidays when people decorate for the holidays? Is that a good idea? Um, keep it minimal okay but it is great you don't want to have things out of season right. so definitely make it appropriate um but it doesn't need to be overboard by any means okay G get the christmas tree off the front porch Correct. right now christmas lights <laughs> in july usually <laughs> not a great idea not a great idea now is the can too much um be a problem yes okay um less is typically more okay um you definitely want to show the space and the size that you're offering and really focus that somebody looking at your home is going to be looking at your home, not your items. Gotcha. Okay. Less is more. I like that. Okay. So what kind of equipment? Is there equipment that we should have on hand to, to help with the curb appeal? Um, a pressure washer is great. Okay. Always think of, you know, the cobwebs in the corner around the front mm -hmm. door. Um, clean up your gutters. Well, uh, it's amazing how much of an impact that makes. Um, even pressure washing your sidewalk, you don't realize how dirty your sidewalk and driveway may be. Yeah. Um, also, a lawn edger. Make sure um, the sidewalk, any of the borders up your driveway are nice mm -hmm. and crisp and clean. Yeah. Um, that's another very convenient thing. Um, and if you are relatively handy. I mean, think of adding some new flower boxes, things like that, that will add dimension to the house and be nice and fresh. Okay, so get those weeds that are coming out of the cracks. Of yes, our <laughs> and, and you can also do, you know, a very inexpensive thing is a fertilizer fertilizer spreader. Uh -huh. um, so that way you're keeping the yard nice and green and keeping those weeds at bay. All right, so, you know, nothing says cozy, kind of, you know, than a, a charming front porch. What can homeowners do to enhance a welcoming vibe when, when people enter? Think comfort, um, what you would be doing on that front porch. So focus seating um, on conversation, and especially if you have a f fantastic view, uh -huh. um, you know, comfy pillows that are fresh and colorful. Yeah. Um, maybe add some new flower pots and flank the front door with each of those. Okay. Will be a great way to spruce up that front porch. If you want to go to the extent of um, a front porch swing, yeah, it nothing says comfort like oh, that. Oh, for sure, for sure. Who doesn't like that? So what inexpensive projects can maybe improve uh, the entrance? Because a lot of folks don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Yeah. Um, definitely get a fresh coat of paint on that front door, a nice color that complements the home. Um, a lot of people have difficulty choosing a color, um, so always you can always turn to the color wheel, think mm -hmm. complementary colors, um, or something neutral and then add flowers that are that complementary color. Mm -hmm. um, make sure the door handle is fresh and new. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I think is overlooked very frequently is your house numbers and mailbox. Yeah. Make sure that mailbox is nice and shiny. Yeah. Um, and the mail and the house numbers are visible uh -huh. and modern. Okay. I know it's hard. We got to get those fingerprints though off the that storm door too. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely washing all the windows, making sure everything sparkles yeah. is a definite plus. So if that's the last thing you do is you walk out of the house before yeah. it's being seen yeah. um, by a prospective new buyer, it's a great way to go. All right, Becky, some great tips. Thanks for coming in to talk to Thank us. Thank you. All right, again, this segment was sponsored by Mel Foster Co. For more information, you can check out melfosterco.com. And we'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.